All right, so this is what is going to happen. Now, as you remember, um, on this new to-do that it's on the app.js, we are controlling the value. This means that the value is on the state, right? We are passing the value to the input and we're controlling the value here, right? We're changing the state there. Now, we need to do the same thing with somebody is editing, okay? Because I want to show a text input and I want to copy the text input text, all right, to an editable text input. So what I want to do is um, instead of just putting this text here, I want to make it more realistic because that is actually what we are going to do. I am going to create, um, I want to get the text from the props, all right? So this will be text. Great. I'm going to pass the text here. Hello, I am a to do. That's it. Same thing, but the text is coming from somewhere different. And this is because when somebody presses edit, all right, I want to copy the props into the state, okay? So here on the to do, I wanna call this thing, I wanna say um, editing to do, or you know, just to do value, all right? And it's empty right now because at the beginning it's empty. But here, when somebody starts editing, I'm going to get the text, well, fuck. I'm going to get the text from the props, all right? Text. And I am going to put it on the state. The text is to do value. To do value equals text. And this is because whenever somebody comes here, boom, and edits, I wanna remove this text that I have. I wanna remove this that I have here. And what I want to do is that I want to create a text input, all right? So I'm going to cut this. And here I will say, if is editing, I am going to show a text input or the text. So text input here, all right, where the state value, sorry, the, sta the value of the text input is the one on the state. To do value. And I'm going to do start what? Text input is not defined. Perfect, here. Done. All right. Here, style. I'm gonna give it some style. And I'm gonna call this input. Okay, because right now if I come here, the text is removed, but there is no style, all right? So I'm gonna give it a style to text input called input. All right, now, before I continue doing this, let me check something. Uh, yeah, maybe this text input is gonna be long because maybe the new to do is gonna be a long thing. So I want to enable some stuff such as multi-line equals true, all right? And this is not important yet, but what I want to do, it's, uh, where is it? Touchable opacity, here it is. All right, the multi-line here. And what I want to do is I want to do text, sorry, style. We have a styles input, but also I'm going to do something like I did here, okay? Because I also want to, you can be able to edit it even if it's crossed. So on the style, what I want to do is styles input, all right? But I also want to include, you know what? Let's, let's include the styles text also. Yeah, because it's the same text at the end. So I will say here, styles text, all right? And I will do the same thing. Ah, this is great. If I just copy paste this thing. Awesome, and all I have to do is now create a styles input. And styles input is super simple. All I have to do is I have to say, oh, what is it? Here it is. I have to say the same uh, margin vertical. I'm gonna give it 15, all right? And we will see what happens, boom. Input, come on. Looks like refresh. 
and let's wait to see what happens. I'm just basically getting the input, I'm getting the text, and I am doing the same thing, completed or not, so I can change the crossing or not crossing. And now this fella doesn't show me. All right, so we need to go to input and we need to give it a, a width. I'm gonna give it a width of the same width that I gave to the column. And now, as you can see here, it's an input because I can type on it. It's not controlled yet, but it's an input. So it's working. Now I come here, I press, and now again, awesome. Nice, you hear? Nice. It looks like we cannot put a line crossing on it when it's uh, an input, but it's working. As you can see here, you can edit it. Nice. And now it's not editing anymore, so it's not a text. I can complete and uncomplete. In this case, it's good. Now, it just moves a little bit. It moves a little bit. I don't quite like that. It moves a little bit. So I'm going to remove this quite vertical. See what happens. <laughs> what is going on? Why is move 20? Maybe because the inputs on React have like a default padding or something. Huh, weird. Okay, I'm gonna pause here and I wanna fix it because this is just annoying. But as you can see, it is working. Nice. Uh, before I pause, how much time? Before I pause, what I want to show you is uh, a better way of copying this thing. So right now, as you can see, when I start editing, I copy the props into the state, all right? So later I can control it. And let's fucking control it already, control, Input. I really think control should be with one L. Control input. I really think so. I don't know. All right. Now I will say here this set state. And the name is to do value. And this is going to get a text event. Text. Perfect. So here on my nice new input on change text this dot control input yep working now and here I save boom but I'm not saving just yet all right so I'm going to fix this thing and because this video is getting long, I'm going to fix this thing and I will see you in the next video where we are going to, let's see what's left. We are going to uh, start actually doing logic. We're going to start adding our to-dos here and we're going to stop fucking around with this thing. All right. Perfect. All right, people, I will see you very, very, very soon. Po play. Let's see something. Come here. Oh, wait. Before this, let's change the input to return key type and this one is also done refresh done perfect and here instead of doing this yeah i mean we have to do that kind of because it's a multi-line so yeah it's a pain in the ass but we have to do it and here i'm just gonna say finish editing when somebody presses here, it's finished editing. So also, when this blurs, I'm going to say also, finish editing. On end editing. This. No, sorry, on blur. On blur. This and finish editing. So this means that when I blur it, this means when I don't, when I unfocus it, so here I'm just tapping. Yeah, I'm gonna blur, boom. So when I blur, it means when I tap outside, all right? When I blur, it finish editing. And now here, what we're going to do in the future videos is to save actually the, the thing because right now it's not saved. All right, that was it for the UI. Looks kind of cool. I will see you on the next one where I'm going to fix this fucking thing and I'll let you know how I did it. See you there, bye-bye.